In this video, we discuss the use of divide and conquer. Divide and conquer is a technique that reduces the size of a problem with each successive iteration. In general, it works as follows. Take a problem, or more typically a data set, apply some rules, and based on the outcome of those rules, discard any data that doesn't match. Repeat the process with the data that's left. One of the best examples of divide and conquer is the binary search algorithm, and we'll look at this in more detail in later videos. A binary search is a perfect example of this technique, as with every iteration, we can discard half of the items from the data set. This process reduces the size of a larger data set, making it easy to locate a specific item. In our video, Comparing Suitability of Algorithms, we'll show you how to use a binary search to find a single item in a data set of over 300 million items in just 27 iterations. The divide and conquer approach can be used to solve many other problems, though typically not as efficiently as with a binary search. Consider a program that allows a police officer to search for potential suspects of a crime based on prior records or offences. Before we select any filters, we can see that the entire database has over 80 million records. Using a divide and conquer approach to design the interface, we can make this number far more manageable and thus useful. Based on witness statements, the user may start by selecting only entries that relate to males. In doing so, they've eliminated almost half the results, down to just under 43 million. Based on further information, they may take this subset of data and apply further criteria, such as only people aged between 18 and 30, only people from PNC ethnic category IC1, which in the British Police Force stands for White Northern Europeans. Doing this reduces the search to roughly 80,000 records. Finally, they could filter the records down to crimes committed only in Gloucestershire between specific dates. Doing this reduces the data set to just 32 records, a figure that's far more useful to our user. Although very different to the exact halving of a data set we see of a binary search, this is still a great example of applying the concept of divide and conquer to a problem. Divide and conquer can also refer to the concept of splitting a task down into smaller tasks, which are then tackled separately. In this way, it shares a lot in common with other computational methods, such as decomposition. And finally, using divide and conquer can help identify tasks that can be carried out simultaneously to produce a solution. So it also has a lot in common with the computational thinking skill thinking concurrently, which we've previously covered. An excellent example of this is the merge sort algorithm, which we'll cover in more detail in a later video. You're probably starting to realize the various computational thinking skills and computational methods we've covered in these videos do not live in isolation. Together, they build a varied toolbox for tackling complex problems using a critical and logical approach. The more you do it, the better you'll become. As with everything in life, it just takes practice. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How can the technique of divine and conquer be used to help solve a problem?